getting through the physical TBR, let's go. <laughs> I have been in a little bit of a reading slump lately, but after reading Fourth Wing, I am just in a fantasy mood. I don't know, fantasy to me equals fall. I have no idea what I want to read. I'm honestly kind of leaning towards Sorcery of Thorns. I've been really wanting to read this and I was going to pick it up, but then I decided to read Fourth Wing. I don't hear too many people talk about this book. I've heard it a couple times. This is a fantasy about a girl named Elizabeth. She has been raised as a foundling in one of Ostermere's great libraries. Apparently they have these like magical grimoires that are capable of like becoming monsters. It's literally about a girl that was brought up in a library of magical books. Sounds like a great time. I don't like to read Goodreads reviews, but I obviously have to put that I'm reading this. So I do want to see what the average rating is on Goodreads because I'm just curious. The rating is a 4.07. So I feel like that's really not that bad because there's like over 100,000 ratings. I'm going to get started and yeah, we're going to read Sorcery of Thorns. day i had to get some stitches yesterday nothing serious don't worry but i'm just gonna be honest with y'all yesterday was such a bad mental health day i was not doing well so i didn't film i didn't read too much yesterday i got to exactly page 100 in sorcery of thorns it's really action-packed like i feel like we're still world building but there's a lot of action going on i am still a little bit confused i'm not gonna lie elizabeth she was raised in Summershell, which is a little country town and she was an orphan so she's taken in by the director and so she's raised in this library she's raised around all these books grimoires actually which can like speak there's different classes of grimoires the higher class grimoires can speak and like move and it's kind of reminding me of like charmed but they don't have books that move i'm just like thinking of their grimoire like something happens and elizabeth is accused of treason and nathaniel thorne comes and picks her up his like little servant guy is named silas silas is kind of sus i don't I'm pretty sure he's not human. Nathaniel and Elizabeth and Silas have just been going on this like adventure. He's taking her to wherever. And that's basically up to where I am now. Olivia Rodrigo tickets go on sale in an hour and I got two pre-sale codes. Until then, <laughs> we'll be reading. Okay, whatever. I look a <laughs> I do have hair currently reading sorcery of thorns and this ankle is so mess. anyway elizabeth is in a giant library and nathaniel said you like this place and she said of course i do it has books in it me okay me i am on page 193 and i'm really liking it okay it's cute and i've been looking at fan art and i just have to show y'all <laughs> y'all know that lana del rey song it's like nobody's son nobody's daughter yeah that one is them it's literally them okay that's it you can't tell me it's not i feel like i'm on drugs reading this <laughs> like when i tell you that the cat that's actually a demon just knocked over a glass display case to distract everyone and now the magical book that was inside of the display case is flying away what this book is good it is but I'm sorry, I'm just like, what? What are we talking about? <laughs> I think I missed something. Oh my God, what? What? I'm literally crying. I'm on page 304. <sighs> okay. Oh my God, I'm so, this is so stupid. She is so, I'm so tired of her. This book is giving slow burn. I think we're about to have the moment. I think we're finally gonna have the moment. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Elizabeth said, I'm sorry for everything. I dragged you into this. You wouldn't be here if it weren't for me. Nathaniel said, you're right. I would be alone in my study, utterly miserable, spending my final hours unaware 
I'm not gonna finish that sentence because it's kind of a spoiler. I like this version better, the one with you in it. The last month has been the happiest time of my life that I can remember since I was 12. It's an honor to fight by your side, Elizabeth, for however long it lasts. You've reminded me to live. That's worth having something to lose. I have like 30 pages left and I'm just, I don't know how it's gonna end. <laughs> Dude, I'm literally sobbing right now. Oh my God. So I obviously finished Sorcery of Thorns. I absolutely loved it. <laughs> At first, I felt like there was a lot going on. I just felt very overwhelmed by all the information, but fantasies can feel like that, especially high fantasies. This is definitely high fantasy, epic fantasy, whatever you wanna call it. Go, 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 very action packed. I gave it a five stars. I would recommend this if you enjoy fantasy, enjoy romance fantasy. It's not spicy at all. They kiss like once, okay? But it is a romance fantasy still. It's literally about a girl who grows up in a library and loves books and the books have her back. It's perfect for all of us, honestly. But I don't really hear too much about this book. And I genuinely think that it should get as much hype as other fantasies do because it is so good. I have the novella that comes after this. I don't know any, I think it's just like a fun little story with the same characters. So I'm gonna read this next because I just, I love them so much. I just love them so much. And I like how she put both of them on here because now I know exactly what the characters are supposed to look like. Love that for me. But yeah, I'm gonna probably read this now. I'm gonna take the cover off. Oh, pretty. It's like blue and green, slay. Highly recommend. Go read it. Now I'm gonna read the little novella. I just woke up. <laughs> As you could probably tell, because I look like I just woke up. And I have my coffee. But I know this has nothing to do with this video. <laughs> I just have to show y'all this Zayden and Violet fan art. <laughs> Lana, don't copyright me, okay? Because you have to listen to the music with it. Like, that is the most perfect, beautiful fan art I've ever seen. I fucking love it. <laughs> this will make you want to read Fourth Wave. Just look at that, and now you have to read it, okay? I'm literally sitting here and I'm going to finish Mysteries of Thorn Manor. I've been so busy this week, let me tell y'all. I've been so busy, I've not had hardly any time to read, but I do right now. So I'm gonna literally sit here and finish this. So I just finished Mysteries of Thorn Manor. I loved it. I know novellas are usually kind of hard to rate just because so short, like this isn't even 200 pages, but I was smiling, giggling, kicking my feet, like having the best old time while reading this. In Sorcery of Thorns, you don't get too much romance. It's very much the subplot of the story, but this, the romance is the main part of the story. It's kind of diving more into Nathaniel and Elizabeth together, while also just sharing a little bit about their life after the aftermath of Sorcery of Thorns. I love these characters. I love this story. And I really, really genuinely hope you guys read Sorcery of Thorns now because it's just so good. You literally have to, okay? And then you have to read this so you get a little bit more of the romance because this, I was eating the romance up. Like, oh my God, I love this so much. Anyway, <laughs> finish that. Whenever I start my next book, I'll let you know. So there was a clip somewhere that I told you guys that I started The Prison Healer. I can't find it, but this next clip is me halfway through The Prison Healer. I didn't explain really anything in the first clip because I didn't know much of what it was about. So yeah. I've read quite a bit of The Prison Healer. I'm currently on page 198, chapter 19. So I'm literally halfway through. 
and I'm enjoying it so far. I know I didn't really explain too much of what it's about because I wasn't exactly sure, but I'll give you the little rundown now. So our main girl in this book, her name is Kiva. She is a prisoner in a prison called Zalandov. I think that's how you pronounce it. She's been there for 10 years. She is the prison's healer. So she basically just works in the infirmary to heal sick patients and also tend to new arrivals patients. Everything I'm about to explain is on the back so none of this is a spoiler but one day the rebel queen arrives and basically there's like a war between their country and the rebels who are wanting to take over. It's a long story. <laughs> You'll have to read the book if you want more info. The rebel queen arrives to the prison and Kiva has been warned by more than one person that she needs to keep the rebel queen alive or there will be consequences. But the queen has to go through a set of trials to prove her innocence and the, she's like insanely sick, completely incompetent, cannot even stand up on her own. So Kiva takes it upon herself to do the trials for the rebel queen and survive all four of these trials, which I don't think anyone has ever done. But if she survives, then both her and the queen will have their freedom from the prison. And Kiva's been there for 10 years, so she's ready to leave. For the book only being 400 pages, it just feels like we're doing way too much in between each trial. Like we've only got through one trial, okay? I'm pretty sure the last time I read, the second trial is tomorrow. So it's probably within the next couple chapters. I just kind of feel like the pacing is off. I'm liking it, but there's just some things that we don't need to <laughs> explain. Yeah, this is probably what I'm gonna be reading today. I'm. Maybe gonna finish it today or hopefully tomorrow. The next book on my radar is Reckless by Elsie Silver because Hopeless comes out on October 16th. So I'll probably download it on my Kindle because they are free on Kindle Unlimited. But this is the fourth book in the Chestnut Spring series. And I'm really excited for this one because this one is about winter. So, and her character is just like really interesting. She's very mean and feisty, but I feel like those characters always have a lot going on. Once I finish this, I'm probably gonna read this, but I'm not sure yet. I know I'm not crying over a book again. I knew, I knew this was gonna happen. time because what oh, holy oh my god i have to read the second book now hey guys so i finished the prison healer last night don't want to talk about it right now because i don't have it with me but i will talk about it with y'all when i get home but i am waiting for my dog to get done at the groomers right now so i figured i would let y'all know i'm starting reckless now i decided to start it on my kindle and i'm just gonna read it for a little bit but when i get home i will give y'all an in-depth review of the prison healer because i really liked it it was kind of crazy i finished the prison healer last night I ended up giving it a 4.5 stars. I really liked it. Honestly, at first, I was thinking it was gonna be a four stars, but the end, it bumped it up that 0.5 because the end was crazy. I don't, like, yeah, the second book is ordered. I went in depth about what this book was about already, so I know I've already explained it, but I don't know. There's just something missing and I don't really know what it is. Considering how this ended, I feel like the second book I'm going to love. Like, I really feel like I'm gonna love it. 4.5 stars, first read of October. 
I read Sorcery of Thorns, Mysteries of Thorn Manor, and now The Prison Healer. So I'm thinking we'll read like one more book. Likely gonna be Miss Reckless. I read a little bit of this in the car while waiting for my dog <laughs> on my Kindle and so far I'm really liking it. I love winter. I just know she's got some and she kind of just reminds me of like myself in some ways, but she ate her ex-husband up with what she said. Listen, she just roasted the fuck out of him. She's having this conversation with her ex-husband and he says, that's not how it was. She was obsessed with me. And then <laughs> Winter says, a much older doctor saves his underage patient's life, uses his physical appeal and power over her to get her eating out of his hand, becomes a hero to her. Then as soon as she eats teen, starts her on the down low, like she's some sort of dirty secret. And when he meets her older, more appropriate sister, he drops her like a stone and marries the one that won't cost him his job for a medical license violation. Oh, except here's the kicker. He doesn't give up on the younger one quite yet. He stalks her and harasses her, sabotaging every new relationship of hers just because he can. Or maybe it makes him feel better about that receding hairline he tries to cover up. Oh my God, that was so funny. For what you've done to me, I am indifferent to you. For what you've done to her, I hate you. I wouldn't have touched you with a one million foot pole if I'd realized the type of man you are. Fool me once, never again. Like, girl, I love her already. And I know she's been kind of problematic, but I just, I have a feeling this is gonna be her redemption arc. Good morning. I have not filmed for this video in a few days. So I figured I would update you. I did start The Gilded Cage. This is the second book in the Prison Healer trilogy. And I'm currently on page 83, chapter eight. I'm, I don't really have much to say just because I'm not even 100 pages in, but I am enjoying it so far. I've mostly been reading Reckless. I am obsessed <laughs> with this book. When I tell you I just, I love this series, it has such a special place in my heart, it just does. In this book especially, I didn't know how I was gonna feel about it because it's Winter and Theo. Winter summer sister and she's kind of just like cold standoffish a little bit just she's not really had the best relationship with her sister so a lot of the characters in chestnut springs are kind of iffy about winter theo is a bull rider one of Rhett's fellow bull riders or whatever he does not see winter this way like no matter how snippy winter gets with him no matter how mean she is he's just always so nice to her because he understands her and when you read this book you start to understand her too i just feel winter on a very personal level like in a lot of ways i am her theo might be my favorite right now I have never loved a male main character of a book so much. Like, I probably have. Okay, let's not get literal here. I haven't recorded anything. I've literally just been, like, flying through this on my Kindle. I've said this about the Chestnut Springs series so many times, but I read the books so fast, and I don't know why. It's just so weird how books work. Like, there'll be some books where you're just not at all connected to the characters, and then other books where you feel such a strong connection to the characters that you almost feel like they're real. I don't know how that works, but it is a pregnancy trope, which I knew that because obviously, but I didn't know how it was going to go down because Winter's just, he's like a doctor and has this like picture perfect life. So like her getting pregnant by a one night stand is very not Winter of her. Just finished Heartless. Wait, <laughs> why do I do this every time that I mention something? I call it the wrong name. I just finished Reckless. I gave it a five stars. <laughs> Listen, okay. I know I've been giving a lot of books five stars recently and I'm usually really picky about five stars, but I just think that I've been reading really good books. I couldn't give this any less. I absolutely loved it. Honestly, if you are a romance reader, I recommend this series. I know so many people recommend it, but I seriously do because every single book I have loved and I have read every single book within like two days and they're all almost 500 pages. I don't know how, I don't know how. Elsie Silver, she knows how to write a romance, let me tell you. And Theo Silva, I have never wanted a man more. 
I have never wanted a man more. The way that he just understands Winter without her having to explain anything, he always has a reason as to why she's upset. He like gives her a reason as to why it's okay for her to feel the way that she feels about different things. I really don't know how to explain it, but this man went to therapy. That's all I can say. Theo Silva has definitely gone to therapy. <laughs> he just, he sees Winter so clearly and he's never once questioned how he felt about her their banter was amazing and this book just surprised me in so many ways i know i've heard so many people say that this is their favorite book in the series i just took that with a grain of salt because everyone has different opinions but this genuinely surprised me i loved it i'm going to think about this book every day i feel like i could cry just talking about it we read so many good books in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any content from me and let me know what kind of reading vlogs you wanna see. And yeah, I will see you all in my next one.